Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, what I want to focus on this week is our exciting new color sort feature. I'll tell you why I'm so thrilled with it, is it works. This is our new color sort icon. Of course, you've had our sequence, optimize sequence, optimize exit and entry points, and now we have optimize or color sort. This is a wonderful feature, but what makes it so exciting in our new Floriani software is it's a smart color sort. We've had color sort in this industry for quite some time in software, but it was like throwing the dice. Uh, half the time, the whites of the eyes would stitch over the pupil because it linked the white to some other white in the design. Now, I'm not saying that will never happen with Floriani's new color sort, but I am amazed. I have tried it several, several times, and so far it has bingoed every single time. So I want to focus on this wonderful feature. Now, I, let's say we're going to do um, lots of applique. We're going to put several leaves down a table runner and they're pretty applique because remember applique right now is one of the hottest things on the market you're finding so much with applique go and see in your in your stores and stuff you'll see the table runners are applique now you'll see uh, lots of linens you'll see children's clothes it's very very popular applique also it has a higher perceived value it is faster to stitch it's less expensive to stitch so let's look at how easy this would be let's say I was going to do a table runner with a bunch of leaves down it so I'm going to come in here well I notice I've closed my designs folder so I'm going to go up here to my toolbars and say you know what I still need my designs there we go alrighty there's my designs I'm going to go ahead and pin it and unpin it I'm going to unpin my properties, excuse me, I don't want them pinned. There we go. Alrighty, so what we're going to do, and you saw me pinning and unpinning there to make it sit on the sidebar. There is a lesson in the weekly lessons archived called to pin or not to pin that explains how you get these things to stay on the side for you and come in and out as you need them. So if you have not watched that video go to the weekly archives and watch to pin or not to pin you'll get um, it'll all come clear it took me a long time to finally cement the little concept in my brain sometimes I just things take a lot so when I got it I was so excited I had to share it so let's look at our new color sort feature I'm gonna go to my library and I'm gonna go into these leaves that I have and I'm going to go to designs and I'm going to grab this leaf right here and just drag it onto screen. Now this leaf is done in applique. How do I know that? Well, let's just slow read it. Let's look at it. It's going to put the outline. There is your tack down. It's going to do detail. It's going to go ahead and do the stem. And then it's going to do the outline. So I can see that this leaf is applique. So I am going to select it. Let's select the leaf. I get my select tool and left mouse click on it. And with that leaf selected, I'm going to right mouse click copy. And I'm going to right mouse click paste. And I'm going to take this pasted leaf and move it down. I'm also going to zoom out so I can see and I'm going to grab a ball and I'm going to move these up here and with both of them selected I'm going to right mouse click copy right mouse click paste come on baby paste for me I turn on this drawing tool and it is also a right mouse click and if I don't right mouse click exactly right it turns on the tool instead of giving me my menu. Okay, now that we've got these four leaves here, let's go ahead and fit them to screen. To fit. So there are my leaves. Now, I'm going to put these along a table runner. Now, I could do them just like it is. 
So what it's going to do is it's going to put down my first placement line. Then I'm going to lay down my fabric, which will be pre-cut using Applique Wonder. Watch the video on Applique. If you don't know how to do Applique professionally, I'll teach you how to do it very simply, very carefully, and it's perfect every time. And it's you don't waste fabric. You cut out just like you need it. You don't have to worry about cutting in the hoop. That is so important. We should not ever cut in the hoop unless it's a fabric that cannot have Applique Wonder put onto it. Now I would put my fabric down. I'd peel the back off my Applique Wonder. I would stick my fabric down in there. Then it would tack it down. It would do my detail, my stem and back. And I would have to do this four times sitting there. Plus, I want you to look, and I also closed my sequence view. Boy, I closed everything a minute ago. Let's go toolbars. Let's go to sequence. Anytime you lose any of your toolbars, they're under the toolbar heading. There's my sequence. Now, I don't want these so big. I'm going to pin them. And let's go ahead, and you don't need to be so wide. Let's move you down. Okay, here is my sequence view. I want you to see where we are here. Well, there it is. I want you to see here how many color changes I have. We know that we have one, two, three, four, five. So I've got 20 thread changes here. That is not fun. If you have a single needle machine, this is not going to be a good time. What we want to do is we want to reduce it to the fewest number of cha thread changes possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here to our new color sort icon and I'm going to left mouse click on it. Now what it's going to do is it's going to look at it and it's going to look at it intelligently. It's going to see because see notice, well you know what I didn't do. Let me undo this. Let me undo. Undo's our friend. I want to show you, I have dark navy and dark navy. These are both in the same sequence. The uh, placement line is the same color as my stem. Then my basil here, which is my tack down line, is also the same color as my finish. But you can see they need to stitch out in a very distinct order. So normally what has happened in the past when you hit color sort is it would take this dark navy and add it to this dark navy. Well that's not going to work because it'll stitch out in the wrong sequence. So now let's go back here and let's go ahead and hit our color sort again and let this sort it for us. Now I don't know how this software counts yet because it says I've got 15 colors. I don't. I only have five. So what's going to happen is my dark davy is going to stitch, so now I'm only going to have to change the thread for each color once. So here is my tack down for all my designs. I mean my placement, excuse me. Now I'm going to peel stick, peel stick, peel stick, peel stick. So there's my four leaves. Now it's going to come back and it's going to tack that fabric down so it doesn't shift. So now that fabric's tacked down. Now I've got to change my thread again. So this is my third thread change. So it's going to come in here and do all my detail. Now I'm going to have to do my fourth th thread change to do my stems. And now I'm going to do my fifth thread change to finish off my designs. How cool is that? From 20 thread changes to 5. And it was smart. It looked at the design, saw how it was constructed, saw the sequence of the design, and it made sure it didn't add my stems to my my uh, placement line and it did not add my tack down in my finish line together. So it went ahead and it looked at it intelligently and sorted it beautifully. I hope you really enjoy this color sort. It's going to save you lots and lots of time. The fact that it does it brilliantly is wonderful. Now again, I always recommend, I don't care how wonderful the software is, and ours is wonderful, but I'm also going to tell you, always do slow redraw. Always make sure it's stitching out in a logical sequence anytime you run any kind of color sort. Even when you resequence by yourself, you're dragging and dropping. Re-stitch it because I'm going to tell you a lot of times you'll make an error.
So if using color sort or you're doing it yourself by dragging and dropping in the sequence view, make sure that your color sort is perfect and that it's going to stitch out correctly. So I hope you enjoyed tonight's lesson. I know it was a short and sweet lesson, but it is real important to use our new color sort feature to understand it and enjoy it. Remember, go back and watch to pin or not to pin if you don't quite understand what's going on over here down this side. And also, um, go watch if you're not, if you don't know how to do applique the professional way, make sure you go back and you watch how to do applique professionally. Hope you enjoyed tonight's lesson. I look forward to seeing you next week.